one. Yeah, he's 12, just over 12. Here. Why don't you grab him? Grab him by the lip. Well, first Washington smallmouth. He's about a pound, I think. Literally, second cast on the little two bait. First fish on a bait caster right there, one pound. Smallmouth. He's a little bleeding a little bit, but it looks really some. Oh, it's like a nice one pounder. Uh huh. Oh, jeez. It's like one pound. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I might want. Right by the dock. You're a lucky sucker. You want me to do it for you? No, I got it. See, you had to have me guide you over here. Oh, yeah, we'll keep it that one. Like when you lost oh jeez. No. <laughs> I know I'm trying everything. Ah, oh, get in there, yes. Alright. Did you get your camera on? Yep. Backlash too. Oh, I hooked him in the eyeball. Did you really? See look. Oh my god. I got a big old backlash too. Oh. No wonder he freaked out, jeez. Is that like the one, a little bit bigger than the one you caught last mm -hmm. time? Oh man, it's all fogged up. Yeah. Did you bring fine string here? Yes, I did. Oh jeez. Nice one pound smallmouth. Want to get a picture of him? Yeah, it's too wet. I'll just take it with the camera. He was just slowly tapping on it. Really? Mm-hmm. You can thank me for that fish. I parked you right on it. If you can get him in the water, keep him alive. Oh, I got one. Yeah. What the hell is it? It's a baby. I think we, I think we found him. Right? My battery's dead on this, on my, um, thing, on my scale. Anyways, again, one pound small mouth. Look at that. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Feels like the same size. Yeah. Oh jeez. Be careful. Make sure your drive's set right. Enjoy it. Is the drag broken on this? No. There you go. I think so. Oh, he's bigger. Yeah, I think so. Right in the roof with the mouth right there. Mm-hmm. Dang it, I lost the worm. Oh no, it's still on the boat. Oh, I'm gonna have to retie. I've I lost the weight. He's got some teeth on him, look at that. Dude, I didn't even know I had it on there. Oh, it's a dink. 
Yeah, I'm wrong, girl. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. yeah I'm gonna go a little nursery smallmouth on the little itty bitty tiny jig right there. He's about a half a pound. That guy. Alright, let's go for the epic release of old Jer Jeremiah here. You look like a Jeremiah, aren't you, Jeremiah? Here's Stell. Stell. Look, fishy. It's a fishy. I love that one. Stell, don't like the fish. I don't think Jeremiah here likes getting licked. Alright, go for the epic release of little Jeremiah. Well, guys, another little PB smallmouth right here. It's got some nice teeth on here. The smallmouth and the flake got some teeth. Oh, you did? Yeah, I did. See, anyways, um, Rufus. Oh. Alright, sorry, Rufus. No, I'll get you back in the water. Alright, here you go. Alright guys, so it is the next day and I'm just going to review uh, what sort of the baits I was using to catch those big, fat, juicy, delicious small jaws. Alright, so anyways, um, the first uh, small jaw I caught, uh, it, uh, I can't speak, the first small jaw that I caught was on a uh, big bite baits, a little tube here, it's green, blue flakes, you'll probably get a slow-mo shot of that, it's using a Texas rig styled. With a one odd offset shank hook, worm hook, with a little, little itty bitty 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 bullet point weight. That's why I cut the first small jaw on. Then those two small jaws that I caught right after that was on the drop shot bait. And I was using um, a little biospawn green worm with a little yellow tail, a little ball weight right there. And then plus, with the red bead above the swivel, so that the swivel doesn't go past the eye. Then uh, those little two dinky small mouth that I caught were on this little micro finesse jig by Z-Man. It's a little bluegill pattern, as you can see right there. Um, do you know basically don't know how to work a jig. You just kind of jig it and rocks. Um... So yeah, let's talk about the rod and line and reel that we're using now once we got done with the baits. This is a Castic reel made by Shimano and the rod that I was using was also Shimano. A Magnetum TX Graphite and it's a medium heavy action. Made in Korea. Korea. North Korea. Ugh. Anyways, um, yeah, that's my, this is my tube rod. This is my, um, Drop shot rod, you know, it's really long. As you can see, it's seven foot, made by Lama Glass. You know, very bendy, very bendy tip. And the reel is a pen spinning reel, obviously. Made with, it's also graphite, you know, awesome. Then, um, my tube rod is a Fenwick. Kind of, it's kind of, you know, not as you know, flexible as the lamagloss glass rod there that I was using for drop shot fishing. But, you know, it's sort of stiff. Pen reel, again. Um, I like pen reels and I really like pen like rods. They're like my favorite rod and reel combo. So anyways, yeah, um, line I was using on this rod right here is 20 pound braid. The drop shot system was, um, 20 pound braid with a 8 pound fluorocarbon and then 20 pound braid for the tube and the way I was fishing the tube was you know kind of out deep in 30 feet of water um, you know kind of just digging along the weed beds you know we were about a couple 10 seconds or whatever slowly pick up on it then um, pass a bite and then the jig um, when we were I was flipping this underneath docks and, um, and around rocky areas right there and I was catching those dinks and um, the drop shot, I was fishing it, um, you know, underneath docks, but it, you know, it was kind of deeper water. It was weedier and not rocky. So yeah, those are teals and reels. Fishing tips on how to catch small jaws. Oh, um, there's um, my dog Sage. He's got a water sage. 
It's got a watermelon right here. You want to say anything to the camera, Sage, you big knucklehead? Why do you got this watermelon right? Sage. Sage. Come here, Sage. Sage. Knucklehead. So what are, so what are we going to do with this watermelon right? Yeet. But anyways, yeah. Where was I at? Oh, yeah. Trying to film an outro for the video. And Sage just being a knucklehead. So, yeah, um, I haven't been fishing much lately because, you know, I'm only making like 10 cents a video doing this whole, you know, YouTube thing. So, I actually got a real job, like a real person. And actually working for my money. Working. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Working for my fishing stuff, I guess you can call it. Instead of, you know, making videos on YouTube, hopefully I'm going to be able to do that someday. Not anytime soon, obviously. Because, uh, you know, the way I like to film. It's not as cool as other people like to film and other people like. But hey, it's my style of filming, and I like it, so you can go do something. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm 15 years old. Shut up.